Angela, can you hear me? Yes, please open in a word of prayer, Angela. Yes. Dear Lord, we thank you for this uh, end of the month that you have blessed us with. Father, we thank you that you have helped us all this way. Father, we pray that you will help us uh, in, in the days to come and the coming month. Yes. Father, we pray that you will give everybody blessings yes. uh, and bless them. In Jesus' matchless name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Uh, Angela is joining us from uh, Odisha. Uh, which class are you in, Angela? Class 4. Class 4. Okay. So I'll happy. be going to class 5. Superb, superb. Okay. All right. Uh, so uh, we have come to the end of the month of February. And our hearts are full of gratitude. Uh, and uh, the opportunity is open for you to testify. Uh, you, you can talk about uh, what God did for you briefly. Don't take too much time, two or three sentences, what God did for you this month. It's, uh, so put the devil to flight, put him to shame, and give God the glory. Um, and I can even go to the extent of saying, if you don't testify, it's... It's as it's like you say that uh, all these things I got in February I deserve. You know, uh, I'm sure maybe all of us can't testify. I know that because of lack of time. But if you don't even have that inclination to testify, there's something is seriously wrong. Uh, maybe you're saying that I deserved all that I got this month. But if you're thinking that I this is because of grace, this is because of mercy, this is because of God's hand upon me you know that phrase the hand of the lord was upon ezra the hand of the lord was upon ezra that is there so many times in that book named after him so uh i want to encourage you to testify okay who's going to go first uh yeah yes so for uh oops yes okay sorry yeah Yes, go ahead, John. Was that Johnson? Yeah. Yes. Uh, for, for for fifteen years, there was a uh, issue going on in the ancestral property. Mm. By God's grace, this week uh, my relatives have agreed for the out of court settlement. Wonderful. It wow. was a uh, God's grace. Uh, when yeah. my father was there, he uh, he strived a lot to go for amicable settlement, but that didn't happen. But in God's time, uh, this week they have decided to go for a out of court settlement. It's a Praise. God's doing. Praise the Lord. Uh, John yeah. Johnson, a missionary from Bihar, joining us and testifying uh, to what God has done. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, it's your turn to testify. You, you are going to testify next. Who's going to testify? Who's going to be that you? Talita here. Yes, Talita. Yes. Yeah. Um, like you had mentioned no, in the beginning of the month that it's not that it's going to be easy but that God is going to be there in situations uh, yes. in small and big things we experience God's presence yes. and John John was out of station then he fell sick he was admitted to hospital but in everything uh, God took care and he's protected us and my son started his 12th board exams and he's finished two papers so far by God's grace Okay. Praise God for all his goodness. Wonderful. Happy to hear that testimony, uh, Talita. Uh, yes, uh, it's it's definitely not been a no problem month for us, but God's uh, sustaining grace. Uh, the times we have palpably felt God carrying us during the times that we could not have walked. And we thank God for uh, God's hand upon uh, John uh, when he was not well. and and helping Talita's son to do well in the board exams, the first two papers. Thank you for testifying. Yes, uh, who's going to go next? Test I thank God for my uh, sister, Alicia. Tomorrow mm -hmm. is her birthday. Wow, okay. How old is she going to become? She's going to be eight years old. Eight years. So we praise God for God's hand upon Alice, uh, eight years of God's faithfulness. Advance, happy birthday. We'll remember to pray for her. Uh, yes, God is good. I'm sure he's going to uh, crown 
Alice's new year with goodness. That's our prayer. Okay. Yes. Who's going to testify next? Hi, I'm Sarah Vinodni Desai. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes, Sarah Vinodni. Yes. Uh, yes, Anna. So in the month of Jan, uh, my husband and I, we moved to the UK. I had I'd come here to pursue my studies. Initially found it very difficult because we couldn't get an accommodation. We stayed in the hotel for about like 14 days, running around for uh, several houses and accommodation. We only put our trust in the Lord. Uh, and finally, uh, I think after a month, we got one. And praise God, it's really safe here. It's a new place altogether. We don't know what purpose God has for us here. But we relied on him. We prayed every day. Every day, there was not even a single day we went to bed without prayers, but because God is really gracious uh, and we really believe that, you know, prayers really works. Praise God. Praise God. Yes. Uh, uh, God's hand upon this couple, Vinodni and her husband, as they landed in a new country uh, with a lot of question marks, but God's been good. Thank you for that testimony. Uh, I'm sure it's going to encourage uh, uh number of people here yes uh, go, go ahead yes we have lots of people joining in i'm also encouraged even as i'm collecting this prayer okay uh who's gonna testify next uh is okay esther you have a testimony we have uh okay who's Hello, Hello, this is Billy. I'll go next. Uh, hi, Billy. Yes, yes, go ahead. Uh, so uh, six months back when I was uh, at Google, I was actually giving interviews for a full-time role there. And uh, I gave the interviews, but uh, somehow they didn't select me. And they said, because my, I'm overqualified for the role I have. So uh, they didn't select me. And then I got another uh, opportunity at ServiceNow, which was full-time. Uh, initially, I didn't like this company. And I didn't, re I, re I didn't really know why I got selected here, but I was not liking the company. But uh, fast forward six months later, you know, we heard about lo a lot of people getting fired from Google and Microsoft. Uh, but here at ServiceNow, we were promised that we will not be fired at any cost. And uh, also they have given bonus in just six months of time. So I praise God, you know, sometimes we don't understand why things happen the way they do, but uh, he always protects and he makes way even before we are there. So that is my testimony. Praise God, uh, Billy. Uh, you know, I can sort of uh, say amen to the testimony because there was a time when I also applied to Google and I was about to get in. Uh, and right now, uh, I have the great joy of running an organization. It's got the name Google in it, uh, grabbing the Google generation from Ghana Mission. That's the ministry that uh, my wife and I started uh, in 2006. Uh, blessing modern young working professionals, blessing young people uh, who live in India's uh, big cities. Uh, God's plans uh, is amazing. Uh, praise God. And, uh, and I'm glad uh, for what he has done in your life. Yes. Okay. More testimonies. Okay. I have to move to the, my second screen here. We have more people joining. That can usually happen in all of our Zoom meetings. Okay. All right. Who's going to testify next? 11.53. Another few more minutes. Uh, we stay in 2023. And we will enter the new month, God willing. Uh, yes. So happy to see different people here. Now we in Avin, Gula, Anupama, welcome. Keep yourself muted unless you plan to speak. Uh, first of all, this is Lawrence. Uh, yes, Lawrence, yes. Yeah, so got engaged on 9th of February and we're planning to get married like uh, with the girl on May 22nd. So we both were attending, uh, like once we got to know each other, like we were attending all your uh, Q&A sessions, most of the Q&A sessions and uh, uh, book by book uh, quizzes. And uh, so that we got connected at least. And we're so happy to join your meetings and things. So you can pray for us as well. Thank you. 
Wonderful. Congrats, Lawrence. Uh, engaged uh, and soon to be married. And I'm so happy to hear that. Uh, may God bless you both yeah. and bless you like Aquila and Priscilla. Uh, Lawrence is in the uh, in in the youth ministry. Uh, is based out of Chennai. Uh, God is using him. I'm so happy. Uh, Even planning to move to Delhi now. So, okay, Delhi is uh, on the radar. Okay, all right. We'll be praying for that as well. Sure. Uh, yes. Uh, maybe another couple of testimonies. Anna, can I? This is Harry here. Uh, yes, yes, Harry. Um, it's been a it's been a year year and a half. I was affected by stroke. Even now, I'm in the bed. I'm talking to you and the group. Um, God's grace. Um, I'm recovered from the stroke. However, mm -hmm. there are four attacks of consecutively happened. The last mm -hmm. heart attack was on the second of January. Mm -hmm. God's amazing grace helped me to recover completely. I'm able to walk and use my hand last month, as in February. So yeah, all these are happening for his glory. Pray for me that I have to recover soon and come back to normal. Definitely, definitely. Thank you for sharing, uh, dear Harry. And we pray for God's total healing hand upon you. And uh, uh, your testimony of God's miracle hand upon you is a great encouragement uh, for Thank each you. of us. Thank you so much. Praise the Lord. Uh, yes, I have a few chat testimonies as well. Uh, yeah, God helped us to celebrate my grandfather's 90th birthday. This is a, a chat testimony. He was in, he was sick and in the hospital, but then he went to be the Lord four days later. But we thank God that Tata was a great blessing to us. God, he, uh, God helped, uh, he helped him to see his great grandson. It's a blessing. Years full of faithfulness. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you for sharing that testimony. Uh, Hannah, uh, joining us from Bangalore. Uh, God's hand upon her gr grandfather who went to be with the Lord a few days ago. But a life well lived, a life full of blessings. We praise God. All right, uh, another three minutes, maybe one more person before yeah, we come. Um, yes. I know, uh, Praveen here, Praveen Paul. I'm, uh, I'm uh, working 40 years. So uh, quickly, one uh, testimony is like last year, uh, 2022, uh, Feb 11th, actually my mom uh, took a blood vomit and uh, she found that she was uh, suffering from liver cirrhosis. It is something like you know, a chronic liver uh, disease. So it will not get healed, it seems. But <clears throat> but God said like <clears throat> they will give only they give only 30 days or maximum 90 days. They said like only, the, only that she'll be alive. But God's grace, she completed one year. <clears throat> so I'm so grateful and thankful to God and uh, requesting to uh, remind her, you know, uh, in your prayers. Her name, uh, her name is Shemida Indrani. So she's uh, she's good now, but uh, she's still in that liver cirrhosis. Uh, okay. Thank you. Know. Thanks, be to God. Thank you for sharing that te uh, the testimony of God's healing hand upon your mom, and we'll continue to pray for uh, total healing. Yes. Uh, yeah, the more testimonies are there uh, in text format, I can read it, but let's just go into a time of worship as we are about to enter the new month. And uh, as we enter the new month, my wife will lead us in prayer. Uh, but I want you to just uh, think of all the names of God that you know and worship him because we want to enter the new month with praise in our lips. Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Uh, next month looks, uh, Lord, dark, uh, but you are the light of the world. We thank you, all. Lord. We do not know the way for the next month, the way, the paths, uh, which way to turn, but you are the way, the truth, and the life. We want to praise you. Just have, just praise God. Praise God and have his praise in us. Don't be a spectator now. Uh, you can keep yourself muted, but I want you to open your mouth and praise God. Yes, as Ivan leads us in worship and praise as we set foot into the month of March 2023. Father, we are so grateful to you, Lord, for uh, 
59 days of your faithfulness all through this uh, new year, God, this 2023. We are so grateful, oh God, for keeping each one of us alive, oh Master. We can never take our lives for granted each and every second, oh God. It's a gift from your presence, oh God. And we just want to celebrate, oh God, this gift of life that you have so graciously blessed each one of us with, oh Master. Lord, we are gathered together, oh God, as a community here, a small community, God. Lord, to just uh, seek your face and to thank you. Lord, for your faithfulness, oh Master. Hallelujah. Lord, definitely, Lord, we have experienced your love. Jesus. And Lord, you have carried us, oh God, through times of challenges all through these days, oh Father God. Lord, thank you that you were with us in our going out and in our coming in. Thank you, Lord, that you were a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night, Lord. Yes. Lord, thank you, Lord, uh, that you are a Jehovah Jireh, providing for all our needs, Lord. Yes. Not just our financial needs, but also, Lord, our physical needs, okay. our emotional needs, our spiritual needs, oh, Father God. Okay. Lord, every need of ours has been, Lord, so abundantly and so lavishly, yes. Lord, met by you. And we are so grateful to you, Father thank God. You. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus, that, um, Lord, uh, you are the God who gave us peace, oh, God, in times of trouble, being our Jehovah Shalom, oh Father, we just want to thank you. And Lord, we praise you from the bottom of our hearts. We want to join the psalmist saying, bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Lord, each time we came running into your presence, oh Father, asking you for your forgiveness, Lord, Jesus. repenting of our Lord, uh, backslidings, repenting of our Lord, uh, um, uh, Lord, misgivings and wrongdoings, oh God, you are gracious to Jesus. forgive us, oh Master. Jesus. Oh Lord, each time we sought your face, oh God, Lord, to help us in our trouble, oh Father, you graciously came down and Lord delivered us out of our troubles, oh Father God. Lord, when we, whenever we were sick in our bodies and in our minds, when we, Lord, came, Lord, searching for you, oh Father God. Lord, you healed our bodies and you touched our minds, oh Father God. Oh, Jesus, we just want to thank you, Lord, for redeeming our lives from destruction, oh, Father God. Oh, Lord, there's so many people out there hospitalized, so many people, oh, God, who cannot, Lord, worship you in freedom. But thank you for tonight Jesus. that we are able to come together, God, as a family because of Jesus. And we are able to call upon that powerful name of Jesus, that wonderful name of Jesus, that glorious name of Jesus. And we can thank you, God, for your wondrous ways, oh, Father, for your marvelous deeds, oh, God, in each of our lives. Thank you for the testimonies, oh, God. We give all the glory and honor and praise to your name alone. It is not because of anything that we have done, but it is your grace, oh, Father, God. It is your power, Lord. It is your supernatural breakthrough in each of our lives, oh, God. Thank you. Lord, especially, Lord, I thank you for the way that you have been carrying, Brother Harry, oh, Father God. Mm. Lord, thank you, Jesus. We are so grateful to you, oh, Father God. Thank you, Lord, that, Lord, you have preserving his life, oh, Father God. Thank you that you are going to renew his youth like the eagles, oh, Father God. Even as he, Lord, uh, lays there on his bed, Lord, thinking about you, meditating upon you. Thank you, Lord, that all is question marks, oh God. You will turn to exclamatory marks, oh Father. Jesus. It is possible with you, oh Master. Jesus. I thank you, Lord, Lord, for that grateful heart that you have given him. Jesus. And because that of that grateful heart, Lord, thank you that, Lord, the praise and the lip... Uh, Praise and the worship that flows out of his lips, oh Father God, will bring about a Lord, a, a complete healing, oh Father, in his body, oh Master. Thank you, Lord, that he will be as a living testimony for you, Lord, through his life, oh Master. He will stand up as a testimony to your great power, oh Lord, to your great wonder-working power, oh Master. I pray that, Lord, even as he Lord, um, uh, Lord, uh, as calling upon the name of Jesus, oh God. I pray that, Lord, healing virtues from Calvary's cross will just flow through his body right now, Lord Jesus. We may be, Lord, far by many miles, oh God, but thank you that you are a God who is near us, oh God. Lord, you are just by our right side, oh Father God. You will never leave us. You will never forsake us, oh God. Thank you, Lord. When the enemy came in like a flood, Spirit of God, thank you that you raised a banner, oh God, for him, oh Lord Jesus. I pray for complete healing. I pray that every cell and every nerve in his body will be strengthened in the name of Jesus, oh God. We agree together as a family and we pray, oh God, for Harry right now, Lord Jesus. 
touch him and heal him right now, Lord Jesus. We hold on to the hem of the garment. And because we are holding on to the hem of the garment, we are not hopeless, oh Father God. Oh Lord, we have hope in that hem of the garment that is so powerful, oh God. Father, may the power of your resurrection, the resurrection of Jesus just flow into his body, oh Lord, bringing about a total healing, oh Father. Lord, even as this man fears your name, oh Father God, Lord, I pray that you will rise up with healing in your wings, oh God. Touch him, oh Father God, touch him. I thank you for Alicia, who, who is celebrating her birthday today, God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, you. Lord, for people who, Lord, uh, who, who, whose need you have met miraculously, Lord. They were in a foreign place, but thank you that, Lord, you're a God who, uh, who brings us to a secure place, who, who establishes things for us, oh Lord. Thank Lord, thank you, Lord, for even Billy, who got a good job. And, uh, and uh, thank you, Lord, when you bless, Lord, your ways are too mysterious. We don't understand, oh God. Lord, all uh, each time our desires are not met, but Lord, thank you that you're a God who gives us more than we can ask or imagine, oh Father God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that your ways are higher than our ways and our thoughts, oh Father God. Thank you. Your thoughts are always wiser yes. and your ways are always higher, oh Lord. And we just want to praise you, Lord, not just that, Lord, for Anu and Lord, for each one present here, oh God, and also for uh, uh, um, yeah, the, the uh, dear brother, Praveen's uh, mother, oh Father God, Lord, I thank you that, Lord, you have extended her life, and you're a God who says, uh, I'm the God who sustains you in your old age and gray hairs. Yes. God, thank you that, Lord, uh, you are able to heal her liver cirrhosis, Lord, completely, oh Master. The doctor may ha might have given three months, but you're a God who can add years, oh Father. You are the Alpha and you are the Omega. The God, oh Master, who brought forth, uh, brought us forth into existence and you will definitely accomplish your purpose and before which, Lord, Lord, no one can pluck our life away from us, Lord. We just want to thank you for each one. We thank you, Lord, for Lawrence and thank you, Lord, for, um, uh, Lord, he is... Uh, betrothed to be married and i pray god lord that you will uh um, lord you will uh bring them together and you'll prepare them lord uh, physically and uh, emotionally spiritually lord to uh to, to be joined and we also thank you lord for the testimony of brother johnson oh god thank you that you are a god of wonder nothing is impossible with you oh father god thank you that you're a god of uh, solution for all of all solutions Lord. there's no problem there's no longing oh god that cannot be met by you and we are so grateful to you god thank you jesus we worship you lord we thank you for each one god prashantika Bula, lijo and um, harry and joshua daniel uh triveni and lord praveen and um, uh, we thank you for daniel we thank you for naveen we thank you for vikas we thank you for each one oh god Thank you, Lord. I pray, God, that you will bless this month of March for each one of us, God. Lord, it's been a very difficult and challenging month for us, Lord, but we are grateful that we were able to complete 17 years of G4 mission, Lord, purely by your grace, oh, Master. Yes. Lord, how true and wonderful are your promises, Lord, that has upheld us all through these 17 years, oh, Father. Yes. We have lacked no good thing because, oh, Father, we have kept you before us, oh, Master God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. We worship you and we thank you. And also, Lord, uh, we want to want to praise you because the God who began this good work, oh Father, will surely bring it to completion, oh Father. We are so grateful and uh, uh, thank you, Lord, that you sustained us all through this month of February, Lord. It's been a month of uncertainty and it still continues, but we know that you are on the throne and you will remember each of us, Lord, your own people, oh God, called by your name, oh Father God. You will remember us and Lord, you will come through for us, oh Master. I pray God that um, you will bless this month for each one of us. Make this month a joyful month, oh God, no matter what happens around us, Lord. Help us to know that the joy of the Lord is our strength, yes. oh Father God. Lord, help us not to take our happiness from happenings around us. 
But Lord, I pray that our eyes, oh God, will be fixed upon you no matter what we are going through in high time, in good times and in bad times, oh Father. Because Lord, there's no time, Lord, good or bad, when we, oh God, stay focused when our eyes are upon you, oh Father God. Thank you, Lord, that there is a purpose for all times, oh Father God. Yes. Lord, there is a purpose, oh God, for uh, Lord, uh, uh, our weeping, and there is a purpose for our uh, uh, laughing, oh Master. The Lord, and I pray that, Lord, as uh, your people, oh God, who are journeying with you on this earth, Lord, help us to remember, oh Lord, that we need to go grow from strength to strength, oh God, Lord, in you. Help us, Lord Jesus. Lord, meet each one, each person, Lord, at the point of their need. They are not here by accident, Lord. You have brought them here with a purpose, oh God. You know the longings of their heart, things that they could mention, things they cannot mention, oh Father. I pray, God, that no matter what their needs are, Lord, you know it. You are an omniscient God. You know everything, God. And you are omnipotent, all-powerful to come through in that, in all situations, oh Father God. Oh Jesus, I pray that, Lord, you would bless each of them. Lord, this month be a great month, a month, oh God, where they will draw closer to you, where they will make each day of this month count for eternity, March 1st to 31st, oh God. I pray that you would be the center of each of our lives, oh God, to you be the glory. In Jesus' precious name, we offer this prayer and thanksgiving. Amen. 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 Yes, uh, thank you, Ivan. And yes, we have marched into March in God's presence and it's a joy for us and a short word from the word of uh, meditation from the word of God. And if you have your Bibles, turn your Bibles to Isaiah chapter 49. And I want to read, uh, uh, I want to meditate with you a promise I believe the Lord uh, has given me uh, to share with you for this month, not just for this month, for any time in our life. Uh, after all, it's part of the word of God and it's applicable for all of time and eternity. All right, Isaiah chapter 49 and the first verse, uh, and the second part, uh, God's promise for us. It says that before I was born, the Lord called me. That's the first blessing. Isaiah 49, one, the second part. Before I was called, before I was born, the Lord called me. We were called into existence. Uh, we were not born because of sexual activity between our parents primarily. That is secondary, but God thought about us. God thought about each one of you, from Lawrence in this corner to Vikas, to Naveen, to Tarani, to Beulah, to Lawrence, to Lijo. And there are so many of you here. I, uh, there are, in fact, 30 of you here. Uh, I wish I could name each one. Uh, Anupama. Uh, Brother Johnson, uh, God called called you into existence. Uh, that's the blessing. Uh, you are not born because of an accident. Uh, you could be the third child to your parents, fourth child to your parents, and sometimes uh, they joke or they say it seriously that you were born because of an accident. Absolutely not. You were in God's mind, and God called you into existence. That's the first blessing. Second, you're called in not only by into existence, but called by endearment. That means God called you by a loving name. It, that same verse says, uh, before I was born, the Lord called me, Isaiah 49, 49 and verse 1, from my birth, he made mention of my name. Uh, I, I, I'm terrible with remembering names and, uh, and people who know me know that. Uh, but this, I serve a God who mentions my name. You know, he called Duke into existence and he mentions my name. He calls me by name and he calls each one of you by name. The most important person in the planet. People around you may have forgotten you. People around you may ignore you. People around you may snub you, but the most important person in the planet, the Lord Jesus, God the Father, the Holy Spirit, the Trinity remembers you by name, calls you by name, called by endearment, called into existence, called by endearment. He knows you by name, calls you by name. And then 
the third blessing here in the second verse, Isaiah 49 and verse 2, he made my mouth like a sharpened sword. He chiseled you to be expressive. God has chiseled each one of us to be expressive of the gospel, expressive of the glory of God. And that's why we exist. That's why we even have a meeting like this through life or through lip, uh, whether in full-time ministry or uh, tent-making missions. Uh, wherever you are, in whichever field you are, as a student, as a working professional, God has is chiseling you to be expressive of the gospel of Jesus Christ. He made my mouth like a sharpened sword, the Bible says. You know, I remember the time when a person like me, so frightened of people, you know, on that day, August 9th, 1991, as a 16 year old, I just got a school student, I stood before and preached God's word for the first time. That was not me, but God chiseling me to speak his word. And even this month, when I stood before over close to 600 students, boisterous students, bubbly students, students from various faiths. God gave me grace to somehow connect and communicate his word because he is chiseling me day in, day in and day out to be expressive of the gospel. And he is, he will do that for you as well in this month and for the rest of your life. And then the, the last blessing, he, he not only uh, called you into existence first, he not only called you by endearment second, not only chiseled you to be expressive of the gospel fourth, you are covered in him it, in entirety. This month, I want to encourage you, my brothers and sisters, that you're covered in him entirely because his word says in Isaiah 49 and the second part, in the shadow of his hands, he hid me. Okay, all of us here are in the in his hands, in his palm, and he hides us. It's like as if an ant is there in our hand, a harmless ant, not the red ones, the black ones. And we could just close it and, and the ant feels sort of safe within the confines of our hand. In the shadow of his hands, he hid me. And... The word of God says that God keeps you in the palm of his hands and he hides you from attacks. There are many attacks, attacks from the self, flesh, pulling you into sin, pulling you into things you should, you know you should not be doing. Lust of the eyes, pride of life. But God protects you. God covers you with his presence. Joseph celebrated the presence of God and he ran from Mrs. Potiphar, Genesis 39. The Lord was with Joseph. The Lord was with Joseph. The Lord was with Joseph three times in that chapter. And the fourth time, it, the same thing is mentioned in the book of Acts because Joseph saw himself in the palm of God's hand and God covering him covered in him it entirely and finally you are catapulted as is as is earl catapulted as is earl that's one of the royal titles that we have coming out of britain uh, you, it could be anything uh, you are catapulted as is earl because his word says in this in isaiah 49 verse 2 the second part he made me he into his polished arrow so God polishes you every day and he sends you as an arrow. And in the next verse, he says, uh, it says, Isaiah 49 verse 3, he, he said to me, you are my servant. You're not only an earl, but if you understand Tamil, uh, you are also an edibody. That means you are a servant. Uh, the Bible says both things, you know. God has chosen you to be his son. God has chosen you to be a prince. God has chosen you to be a princess. But at the same time, God also has called you to be a servant and uh, uh, everybody, which means you're ready to do any task for the master. Today, I had the joy of 
going and picking up 100 copies of Straight Talk. We had to do a reprint and then uh, and arrange for the courier to uh, offer it to 12 people, uh, to 12 copies of it to someone uh, uh, who wanted it in this uh, from the town of Madurai. I did it myself. I had the joy of doing that, uh, packing up uh, this bundle. I love to stand on the stage and preach, but I like to do all these things, small things as well. I love to serve God whatever way possible. And God is catapulting each one of us as earls or as servants to do his work. He has, he has made me into his polished arrow, Isaiah 49 and verse 2. And he says to me, verse 3, you are my servant. And then our ultimate purpose this month and for any time in our life, Isaiah 49 and verse 3, in whom I will display my splendor. So would you tell the Lord this month, I want to display your splendor, Lord your glory i want to reflect your glory i want to i want to show i want to glorify your name whatever i do this month will bring glory to your name he said to me you're my servant israel in whom i will display my splendor but there's a condition for this promise uh, but before that condition comes you know there are times there would be times in your life and that time can come even this month when you are confused about your call, verse 4, Isaiah 49 and verse 4. But I said, I labored to no purpose. And some of you are thinking these exact words, Isaiah 49 and verse 4. I have labored to no purpose. I worked in this company, but my work looks, is not recognized. And you think I have labored to no purpose. I've spent my strength in vain and for nothing. You are a homemaker maybe. Or you are a husband and your work for your family is not recognized by the loved ones right inside your home. And you think, I have spent my strength in vain and for nothing. The words of Isaiah in verse Isaiah 49 and verse 4. What is due to me? Okay, so the first part of that verse, verse 4, is our confusion right now. Confusion about our call. Why do I even have to exist in this world? But God says, as he has already said, you need to exist because I've called you into existence. I've called you by endearment. I've covered you in entirely and I have catapulted you as my electric earl. So that's why you should exist. And the last phrase of Isaiah 49 gives us the condition. And the condition is yet, uh, Isaiah 49 and verse 4, the second part, yet what is due to me is in the, in the Lord's hands. So we quietly go about being God's arrow for our generation, knowing very, knowing this, uh, knowing this, that what is due to me is in the Lord's hands, not in the hands of the people around us. Very often we are looking at the people around us and we are disappointed. Don't look at the people around you. Confess today. That's the condition. The condition is eternity perspective. Yet what is due me is in the Lord's hands. Isaiah 49 verse 4, second part. And my reward is with my God. And one day he will come back. Or one day I will die and go to him. Whichever happens. I die and go to him or he will come back. And my reward is with him. Till then I work with enthusiasm. Till then I work with energy. I want to encourage each one of you with those words as I finish. So shall we close our eyes and ask, uh, the blessings of Isaiah 49, 1 through 4 for us. Uh, listen to me, you islands. Hear this, you distant nations. Before I was born, the Lord called me. From my birth, he has made mention of my name. He made my mouth like a sharpened sword. In the sword of his hands, he hid me. He made me into a polished arrow and concealed me in his quiver. He said to me, you're my servant, Israel, in whom I will display my splendor. But I said, I have labored to no purpose. I have spent my strength in vain and for nothing. Yet what is due to me is in the Lord's hands and my reward is with my God. Yes, one day he will reward you. It can happen even on this side of eternity. Mordecai found it in the last chapter of Esther. The reward for Mordecai came on this side of eternity. It can happen to you. Or it can come on the other side of eternity. We don't know. For Antipas, that disciple of Jesus who was martyred, uh, the reward, much of the reward came from, would, would come on the other side of eternity for Antipas of Revelation. We don't know, but we need to keep working, keep plowing, keep, keep going forward, 
keep being that polished arrow in his quiver. Lord, we thank you for this online community. I am so touched and thrilled by all these friends of mine who have joined us from different parts of India and the globe to enter the new month of March 2023 in your presence. And we thank you for encouraging us from Isaiah 49, 1 through 4. And help us to not only remember the blessings, but also the condition to have an eternity perspective. Yet what is due me is in the Lord's hands and my reward is with my God. We thank you, Lord. Bless each one who has joined and give us strength for the month ahead and for the life ahead till your return. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right. Uh, uh, which uh, Technically, you can all leave, uh, but uh, if you want to just linger around and just tell us from where you're joining, I see some new people joining. Uh, if you've joined for the first time, uh, maybe you can let us know from where you've joined, tuned in. Uh, we have Sister Tarani who's joining us from Uti. I uh, thank you for your WhatsApp message. Uh, most welcome. Okay. Um, anybody who's joining us for the first time? Uh, Prashantika, where are you joining us from? Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so happy to have each one of you. And God bless you. Blessed March 2023. And we will see you again in another edition of our Zoom meetings. Stay connected to our WhatsApp. And God bless each one of you. Um, and you all have a blessed month. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.